What's up, guys? Welcome to the Being Beautifully Honest podcast and channel. Thanks so much for being here, for being subscribed. If you're not, go ahead and hit that button. And if you're listening to this on YouTube, hit that like button. It's like walking into the room and hitting that light switch. We just want to go ahead and brighten up the place. Let's get into this politics and BS. So as you probably have already heard, 45, former Prez, he has been indicted again, this time for election interference. And I want to share this article. This is from Vanity Fair. And it says, Trump plans to defend himself against election charges by throwing his lawyers under the bus. Donald Trump was officially charged by the Department of Justice on Tuesday for his attempt to overturn the 2020 election. On Thursday, he is expected to be arraigned in a D.C. court, at which time he will no doubt plead not guilty to the four counts against him. Conspiracy to defraud the United States, conspiracy to obstruct an official proceeding, obstruction of and attempt to obstruct an official proceeding, and conspiracy against rights. As for the actual legal defense strategy he's going to go with in an effort to stay out of prison, According to a report from Rolling Stone, it's a regular Donald Trump special. Blame the whole thing on everyone else. Specifically, Trump's current lawyers are planning to defend his actions by pinning them on the lawyers who aided his attempt to overturn the 2020 election, as reported by the outlet, which spoke to two sources familiar with the situation. Obviously, they're not just going to yell, it was Rudy's idea. But really, when it comes down to it, that's the essence of what they're going to say. Per Rolling Stone, if the case goes to trial, his current legal team is preparing an advice of counsel argument, attempting to pull blame away from the former president for any possible illegal activity. Plans for such a defense have been percolating since last year, the two sources say. In the aftermath of Biden's 2020 election victory, Trump had an armada of lawyers, some officially representing him and some simply aligned with him, spreading unhinged conspiracy theories and pushing states to reverse the results. Rudy Giuliani, Sidney Powell, John Eastman. The list goes on and on. The attorneys were acting on Trump's behalf, but in this legal strategy... Team Trump would argue it was the lawyers leading Trump rather than the other way around. It is an argument the former president likes, and the team is on board with it. One Trump advisor bluntly says, then somewhat um, ominously adding, John and Rudy gave a lot of counsel. Other people can decide how sound it was. As Rolling Stone notes, one potential problem with such a strategy is that Giuliani and Eastman, quote, were merely doing what then President Trump wanted them to do or had told them to do, to try to find a way to keep Trump in power despite his loss to Joe Biden in the 2020 presidential contest. Neither a spokesman for Trump nor Trump's attorneys responded to Rolling Stone's request for comment. The ex-president, of course, is no stranger to blaming his actions on other people. Earlier this year, he pinned the Stormy Daniels hush money payment that he'd ultimately be charged over on former attorney Michael Cohen. Writing on Truth Social, I had every reason to believe Cohen had a license to practice law, was competent, and was able to appropriately provide solid legal services. He came from a good law firm, represented other clients over the years, and there was no reason not to rely on him, and I did. Last week, he similarly claimed with regard to the bleep he pulled following the 2020 election that he did nothing wrong and was advised by many lawyers. Listen, All we can do is watch as well as pray. And when I say watch as well as pray, I'm just saying praying for our own sanity. Because listen, I don't know what to make of all of this stuff. It is absolutely insane. You never know what you're going to live through as you live life. And to be living in this time, it's literally living things that we have never heard about really happening before. 
I wasn't alive during the time of Nixon, but the way people talk about this, they act like this is way, way crazier and worse than Nixon. I watched episodes of TV shows from back in the day, reruns of them, like Sanford and Son and things like that, where, you know, they would make jokes about Nixon and and stuff like that. But it's just like, what in the holy hell is going on on earth right now and in this country? I don't know, but let's just watch and see because what is this like the third indictment that he's under right now and possibly there's more to come and we're about to go into an election next year. This is absolutely insane, but I just wanted to share this article from Vanity Fair because I just thought it was interesting that they're saying that he was already prepared, it seems like, to be indicted because they're saying that the strategy for defending himself is going to be blame the lawyers. They're the ones that either did these things. I had no idea. It's not me. It's them. But ultimately, a lot of this stems from his own actions as well as what happened on January 6th at the Capitol in 2021. And just seeing the close-up video footage of all that stuff that happened that day, you know, my heart goes out to the people who were working out there because, you know, being married to a veteran, I understand what PTSD is. And I can't imagine those people who were attacked for just trying to do their job and have not been able to work in an atmosphere that they were used to working in anymore because they were just trying to do their job and and you have people like I I I saw the video footage I heard the words people were just outright attacking them and a lot of these people have already been sentenced to many months or even some many years in prison there's one guy he was I think in the Oath Keepers or the Proud Boys one of those racist groups That got sentenced to 16 years. So this is some serious stuff. Like, really. So we don't know if he's going to go down for this. But it would be a bit crazy if all of those people, there were, I want to say, either thousands or hundreds of people that had gotten charged in the January 6th insurrection. And a lot of those people had gotten convicted for all of these people to deal with that and then the ringleader just go by scot-free because if it had not been for his call those people wouldn't have been out there even if he lost so guys I just wanted to talk about that really quick let me know your thoughts on what they said with regards to him (laughs) going to be throwing his lawyers under the bus saying I didn't do it it's their fault Because look, he's done it before. Look at Michael Cohen, his former attorney that went to prison for doing what he was hired to do for Donald Trump, which was write a check to the porn star Stormy Daniels to keep her mouth shut so that she wouldn't come out and rat on him during the race the last time he ran for president. This is some crazy sick stuff, man. I tell you, I'm just like... God help us. (laughs) That's all I can really say. So let me know your thoughts. Thank you so much for being here, for liking and subscribing. I'm Beth, just being beautifully honest. So until the next time, I wanted to keep it brief, beautiful, and I'm going to say bye.